My name is Ebenezer Amwako Entry, and you are so welcome to this YouTube channel. On this YouTube channel, you are going to get videos that will set you up in your work with God and also with your prayer life. On this channel, you upload videos consistently to make sure that believers are guided to pray and pray and pray. If you are new to this YouTube channel, make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel so that when we upload new videos, you can have access to them. And also, if you don't understand anything, kindly send us a message and we will get back to you. Also, make sure that this video you are about to watch, you will like the video, try and comment on it. And when you are blessed by the video, make sure that you share it to someone. Thank you. That is why laziness is not associated with God. Laziness is not. It's not part of it. It's not part of it. It's not part. I won't close the day without doing what I have to do. I won't. It's not part of the work. Even if, even if I am quiet like this, I may be preparing a sermon inside of me. Every day I'm working. Whether it is on paper, it is on phone, or it is in my brain, I'm working. Because I have to write books, I have to respond to people, I have to pray, I have to preach, I have to do many things at a time. Manage church, manage leaders, do so many things at a time. So this brain must be working at every point in time. I can't find spe special moment to even... No, I can't. For play. If you walk in the ways of God, you realize that there is no special moment for jokes. He will set you up to keep working and working and working till results is achieved. And some of you, you have started gradually working one or two or three. You are not getting results, so you are giving up. No. Keep on till results come. Yeah. You are not, you are not marked to be jobless. Don't easily quit. Men don't easily quit. Men don't. A woman can just rise up in the morning and say, I won't go to work again. Meanwhile, she may not have another job. But you, a man, cannot just rise up. This morning and say, I won't work again. You won't work again, so you don't have any other job. I won't work again. What, what kind of man are you? Lisa, are you getting me at all? Men don't rise up and write letters that have, have stopped work. I won't work again. Then come on. Let a woman do that. Because in, in, in the circle of her destiny, somebody must be taking care of her. But not you. If she takes care of you, the insult you could take, eh, it can cook here. <laughs> the, the heat of the insult can cook, it can cook fried yam. <laughs> <laughs> hallelujah so every man that fears God is positioned in such a way that it may be little keep working at that little keep working at it the salary may not be good keep working till you get to a place where your effort demands higher salary keep working keep working keep moving Keep move. Don't stop and go and sleep in the house. Don't. Don't. I pray for somebody here again. Our men, our hands will find jobs. I said our hands will find good jobs. He said, happy shall thou be and it shall be well with thee. Work first, then happiness. If you are a man and you deny yourself work, it doesn't matter what happens, you are killing yourself. There will be no joy. God has made us as entities of work. Without work, nothing can satisfy you in this life. You'll be depressed. You may end up with, with smokers and drunkards in some, somewhere else. Playing dummy and playing all sorts of stuff. 
don't be a man that rise up in the morning sleep 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 walk around in the evening and you have achieved nothing no our happiness is connected to our prosperity every man's happiness is connected listen if a man see money the joy is different <laughs> thou knowest not if thou knowest you will know every man every man god has linked your joy your happiness to your prosperity that is an error of our time you think sex make make men happy that is why the moment he finishes having sex with you, he takes his phone and he leaves. That's not the real happiness. The real happiness is when a let comes. The moment a let drops, the man's countenance changes. May men be happy in this house. Yeah. He said thou will be happy when a man starts to eat of of his labor he is happy and the bible says that it shall be well with that man when men are happy everything begins to play out well for them their health is good everything about their lives begins to work because he's happy i'm telling you never be deceived that money is no good men are connected to money That doesn't mean that go and get money by force. Start from the fear of God. <laughs> Start from the fear of God. Walk in the ways of God. Land in a job and let that job give you money. And when that job gives you money, then true happiness will come. If you go and steal, that true happiness will not come. Then you can say a different Say you see picky call crowd. I'm telling you. I said, I'm a catcher. Said, Batman Nisika, not call bar. You know. <laughs> because, oh, oh, Pesika, hello. But, uh, midi, midi, uh, could you now? What do you know? Why? But, said, Bema was car. Call neighbor, she say, yeah, yeah, hello. <laughs> Or dinner home. Why will free be a win here? She in through home. Now see here be be through. What's a belly? Ya quick no a picket. Rajas and I'm no cassay. Never be moved. God has designed men to be blessed and you you will be blessed yeah. hallelujah yeah be blessed and he said when men are blessed they'll be happy and when they are happy it will be well it will... everything will start working out well for them then he said the next blessing the man enjoys when he fears God and walk in the ways of God the next thing is that his wife shall be as a fruitful vine by the size of thy house the wife will be somebody say a vine oh somebody shall say a vine that means the wife becomes the symbol of the vine the man is the symbol of spirituality the woman is the symbol of the vine the vine is the producer of wine so the woman will be like the wine at all so if you know what wine really is then you understand the blessing of a woman who is married to a man that fears God. Every
every woman that is married to a man that fears God exhibits this characteristics of the wife. So if you are not exhibiting it, that means that your husband doesn't fear God. Say amen. amen. Say. <laughs> what is a wine? The wine makes merry. It makes merry. It is a maker of merry. A producer of joyful atmosphere. Anytime we speak of wine, we are speaking of merry, celebration, joyful atmosphere, something that makes happy. So sometimes when, when people want to throw a little party, they get themselves some wines, they pour, they drink, they are happy, they, they talk, they do this. The woman is a symbol of wine at home. That is when the man fears God and has positioned himself. Listen, when the man has not really positioned himself, the woman cannot be a wine. What will the woman be? Alomo. <laughs> he becomes the symbol of wine. Now we are we are entering into the wise of blessed men to be a wife of a blessed man is to be the source of Mary ah. this is when the unusual happens in the home to stir up happiness in everybody so the woman positions herself in a way that she becomes the provider of everything that makes every other person happy at home so such a woman knows the food that the family loves you see the women in the form of vines are women that makes the conscious effort to actually drive out every form of bitterness and soreness sadness out of the uh, of the home so that everybody that is coming home to meet something that will make them happy if you never happy your love it was a Tiwonina or Jenny or China or China Jolof or Jenny. That's Mary. The woman is a soul. They do things that should make the man so happy that he wants to run back home. That's a wine. If you throw a party and the wine doesn't represent, it was not a party. But the woman has that responsibility to make sure that they create things that brings merry to the house. You see? <laughs> Salad, the kakrebi, nanka egua, nanka koko, a whole team, fifre kakra, nanka egua. You, you are, listen, the woman is a source of merit. That is why a woman must intentionally learn how to cook certain food.
I hope you enjoyed this video and I believe that you were blessed. If um, you were blessed by this video, make sure that you click on the share button and share it to a friend. And also make sure that you like the video so that YouTube can recommend this video to other people so that they can also be blessed by the message. If you have any question, please make sure that you contact us and we'll get back to you. And also if you are watching this video and you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, I want you to make that decision. Just contact us in the description. Call us and let us lead you to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. And lastly, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on the, that notification bell icon. Turn it on so that when new videos are uploaded, you can be notified. Thank you so much and see you in our next video and prayer session. Bye.